Hi, in this video, we illustrate how to feed exponential models to data sets in two steps. So the lesson is specified in uh, these uh, nodes under module 10 feeding models to data. And we uh, would like to first display the original data set, in this case, um, the observations here are measurements of population size for the United States for um, me measurements were taken every decade with uh, the census. Here is the formulation of the exponential model. Uh, there are some important concepts about doubling time and half-life. And um, when we move on to compute uh, estimates for the constants or parameters in the exponential model, we rely on the logarithmic transformation. So here we assume that the exponential model has this shape, take the natural logarithm on both sides, and derive a linear equation in logarithmic scale. So the idea would be that if we have an original data set, we can transform the second column. So in this case, the observations are stored uh, in the second column of the data set and if we transform those observations which is what we're illustrating here we'll be working in a different scale and for those transform measurements we are going to use a linear model so uh, that has this this formulation z equals kx plus b k denotes the slope here and b is the intercept with the vertical axis so those um, procedural steps are summarized in this list. A very important step is uh, that once the slope and the intercept of the line in logarithmic scale have been computed, then they need to be transformed into the parameters of the exponential model. Uh, one of those parameters is called A here, which is a coefficient. Okay. So here we have the observations for the uh, population size of the United States. You can see that in column B, this is, uh, these are measurements in millions. And what we do is there are um, basically 25 data points uh, from year 1790 all the way in increments of 10 years, all the way to the year 2020. So here in column D, I did this before ahead of time. Uh, we introduce a formula, so we use x, excuse me, in that cell we introduce equal ln for uh, national uh, logarithm base e, and then b2 would be the ln or log base e of the entry of cell that's stored in cell b2. So once we do that, uh, we click, hit enter, and we can propagate that um, function throughout all the uh, corresponding values there. I had already done that ahead of time. And then what I did also was that I copied the values of year, excuse me there, the values of year into a new column, and then I copied again the values uh, that were computed in column D, uh, but I used, maybe I can do that again. So I would select all these values, Okay, I would go to copy, and if I wanted to copy them into a new column, it's very important that I use the function paste values. Okay, so I need to paste values only. That's, uh, if I do that, then they will be propagated there. I, I had already done that for columns G and H, and so what I will do next is that I'm going to take both of these columns, which are values only, they don't have formulas, and I'm going to copy and paste them into Desmos. So in Desmos I create a table and then I use Control V and once I uh, paste those values into a table here then um, I'll be ready to do a linear regression on this data set, excuse me, these observations, which had been, all those are the values in the second column in there, they had been transformed with the logarithmic transformation. 